Hi everyone, my name is Kay Ramos and welcome to my channel. I did an unexpected project few weeks ago and I figured out why not share it with you. Today, I want to share how to make reusable wipes and paper towels. Well, technically it's not paper but the concept is meant to substitute paper towels. This is part of my Simplify Life series that I want to start here in my channel. Disclaimer first, this is a homemade product intended for quick cleanup. I do not claim that this can kill harmful bacteria and viruses such as the one that causes COVID-19. Please follow the CDC guidelines for disinfecting surfaces. I'm really tired of our paper towel situation at home so I decided to do something about it. Let me show you how. To start, look for a fabric you have at home that you can use. It can be old towel, old clothes, or any absorbent fabric. I have this flannel fabric sitting in the basement. I actually had this few years ago when I was practicing food photography. If you look on Etsy, they also use flannel fabric because it absorbs well. If you're in US, they often run sales for this kind of fabric. I quickly pre-wash them before cutting. Here I am using a rotary cutter but it's so dull so scissors would do. I did 9 by 9 inches and 8 by 8 inches in size. I also decided to sew the edges to avoid them from fraying when washing. This is totally optional guys. If you don't have sewing machine, you can also use pinking shears. In the end, I was able to make 20 8 by 8 inches and 32 9 by 9 inches. I'm not really sure how many yards I have. Probably 3 to 4 yards of fabric. I'm not sure. As you can see, my sewing skills is not really that great, but that's fine because there's no need to be perfect here. Here they are! Reusable paper or unpaper towels, however you want to call them. They're great for drying hands and surfaces. Next, let me show you how to make reusable cleaning wipes. Here are the ingredients. Castile soap, warm distilled or filtered water, alcohol which I will explain further in a minute, essential oil, towels, and container. I have an infused alcohol here. To disinfect, it's better to use 70% or more alcohol content. I basically infused my citrus peelings in alcohol for 2 weeks. This is totally optional guys. You can use plain alcohol. But I always have infused alcohol because the smell of citrus adds that fresh scent. And also it's a great way to repurpose your citrus peelings. So let's start. Mix one half cup of alcohol. One tablespoon castile soap. One cup filtered or distilled water. 10 drops essential oil of your choice. I used 5 drops of lavender and 5 drops of citrus blend essential oil. I get my essential oils from plant therapy. By the way, this is not a sponsored video but I really like them because they are affordable. If you want to try them out, I have a referral link in the description box below where you can get $10 off if you order $25 and that includes shipping. 
So just mix everything together. Next, put your towels in a jar. It is recommended to use glass jar if you are using essential oil. Pour the mixture on your towels. I ended up using three times of the recipe to soak all the towels. Don't make a lot so you'll always have fresh batch. In any homemade product, for me, maximum shelf life is one month. That's just a personal preference. Here they are, reusable cleaning wipes. They are great for quick cleanup on countertop, doorknobs, or spills. I decided to put my dry towels in this basket. I got the jar and basket from thrift store for $6 for both. Aren't they cute? Let me show you how it works. So look at them. It's very convenient when cleaning. It's not very sudsy, which I like. And I just let it air dry after cleaning. I also have jar under the sink to put all the dirty wipes and towels so I can wash them all at once. If the wipes become dirty, I quickly rinse it to remove the stain before putting it in the dirty bin. That's it guys! If you find value in this video, please like or share it and I would love if you subscribe. Again, this is Kay Ramos and thank you so much for watching. See you guys again next time. Bye!